Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Crochet Channel. I'm glad to be with you in this video. In this video, we are going to make something different. We are going to learn how to read the chart or the crochet pattern. So let's get started. videos we've learned to do the basic stitches and how to hold our hook in the yarn and do the single crochet how to chain and the double crochet and the magic ring so today we are going to learn these shapes here of course there are many stitches and there are hundreds of shapes that you can find I have these two paper which shows some different shapes here here so I'm going to show you these uh, basic shapes in this video and in the next videos uh, hopefully I'm going to explain what these shapes need so I'm going to leave this paper uh, in a link uh, below it's for you to print it the first thing you need to know and bear in mind when you reading a chart or a pattern that there are two terms used in explaining these symbols the UK, the UK term and the US term so here we have this shape circle which means chain and it's referred to as CH so whenever I need to chain I will have either CH or the shape circle so it's in UK and US term chain and referred to as CH and CH and I like this uh, explaining paper because it shows me how I do the chain so all you need to do with chaining is yarn over which is YEO and pull through and with this shape means slip stitch slip stitch is referred to as SS and it means also in the US term slip stitch but referred to it as SL stitch so you can see the difference here so with this shape means double crochet DC but in the US terms it means single crochet so either you learn the US term or the UK term so what I like to do is sticking to a, a term a specific term and learn all the uh, abbreviations and the symbols for it here the double crochet in the UK referred to as single crochet in the US which means that you are going to insert your hook and yarn over pull through the work and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and of course if you want to go uh, back to the previous videos you will see how to do single crochet or chain or double crochet and so on this T letter here is referred to as half triple crochet HTR in the UK while in the US terms half double crochet HDC which means that you are going to yarn over on the hook insert the hook and pull through the work yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook and I'm going to make a um, video for this uh, stitch because I haven't done it yet uh, and the next symbol we are going to explain is this T shape with this slash or uh, this kind of line here. I wanted to uh, tell you that this T is a basic stitch while this uh, slash or row or line that drawn inside it shows you the times that you are going to yarn over the hook and insert it in that stitch that you have only one 
uh, line here so you are going to yarn over and insert the hook in the stitch only one time while here you have two here you have two lines so you are going to yarn over twice and insert the hook and um, of course I'm going to show you how to do all these stitches in um, videos what I'm going to do now is just show you how to read an actual chart I'm going to read a chart with you and do it for you um, to practice it so printing any chart you will find this line here this line shows me the multiple stitches that I need to do to make a pattern so this stitch or this pattern needs 28 chains to make half of it so whenever you need to multiply you have to chain 28 for another unit and for another unit 28 and for another unit 28 and for another unit 28 so as long as you need your work or the project uh, the blanket the blouse um, is you have to multiply by 28 so any pattern you will find this line which shows the multiple of 28 or 13 the number of stitches that you need to chain so you will do your pattern so as we said that these circles here means chain so what I like to do all the time is just do a little bit of reminder so I just need to see the first line I'm going to work is chaining 28 now whenever you find this circle here you are going to chain the number of chains of or the number of the circles so as you can see you have another shape or another symbol in this pattern which me which is um, the T shape with only one line across it so I'm going to see my short here and I find it as a double crochet in the US term so in this video I'm going to use the US term whenever I find this symbol I'm going to make a, a double crochet so what did this symbol means it means that I'm going to do a double crochet in this stitch and another double crochet in this stitch and another double crochet in this stitch so I have another symbol here this means double crochet but reverse it it's like the puff stitch or uh, another term that we are going to use three double crochet cluster which means that you are going to do three double crochet but you are going to join them together and of course I will show you so let's get started the first thing I need to do is chaining 28 the first line here and I will show you how to um, proceed in your lines this is the first line I'm going to start from here so I'm going to one So I have made my 28 chains and I need just to show you that I'm starting from here and just doing the, my 28 repetition, 28 chains and this is the 28th chain here. So after finishing it, I only need to do my height, the next row. This is the next 
row. I need to chain three to start my next row. But first, I am going, as you have known me, to mark this stitch here. So I don't need to count anymore. So this is a 28 um, chain. So I'm going to have to chain three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Now I am doing this shape here, which I have told you that any line with a cross on um, across the line on it it means double crochet so as you can see it um, it starts with the second chain here and all three double crochet goes in this chain here so I'm going to work three double crochet but I'm going to join them together like this in uh, doing double crochet you need to yarn over insert the hook in the second that's why I marked my first and just you pull through I have three loops this time I'm going to yarn over and pull through only two I'm not going to finish my double crochet here I'm going to make another double crochet yarn over insert my hook in the same stitch and just pull through and yarn over and pull through only two I still have three loops on my hook now yarn over this is the third double crochet insert the hook pull through and just pull through two so I end up with four uh, loops on my hook now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four loops this is how it looks like like the cluster now I finished this shape now I have this circle here which means chain one and I'm going to chain one after chaining one I have this shape here I need to bear in mind the other line the below line here so I'm going to chain one as I did and do this other cluster or other double crochet but this time I'm going to insert my hook in this stitch so I need to skip two chains here because this is the first one uh, uh, I made my marker and this is the second one I made my cluster and I have to skip two chains to make the third stitchy here so I'm going to skip two one two and insert my hook in the third one and do a double crochet but this time I'm going to finish my double crochet because I've already have this shape not the cluster shape now this means that all three double crochet is going to be in the same chain here so I'm going to do another and another one so so far you get the idea of reading the chart so I'm going to do what I'm going to chain one skip two chains here chain one skip two chains and do another three double crochet now I have done my four double crochet in the same stitch like this you can see this is a chain and I made three chains then this cluster then three double crochet one two three four and one two three four now I'm not going to chain only one I'm going to chain two and I'm not going to skip any stitches I'm going to insert my hook in the next 
uh, chain here and do three other more double crochet like this chain two and insert my hook in this and do three double crochet one two and three now as you can see you have this shape here We'll continue reading the short and I'm going to do chain one, skip two, three double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, skip two, three double crochet in the same stitch. As you proceed you will see it easy. Chain one, skip two, three double crochet and so on I'm going to explain what I have done so far so we could be clear now I started with chaining 28 like this and put my marker in the last chain and do three double three sorry uh, chains another three chains here now I have done this cluster in the second chain like this and do four repetition of three double crochet in the same stitch or the same chain here with chaining one in between and skipping these two now I've made four one two three four one two three four and after the fourth one i have chained two so i make this triangle shape and then i made my repetition of three double crochet in the second chain without skipping any chains now chain one skip two three double crochet in the same and so on until I reach it this after the fourth one I need to do chain one and do another cluster like this chain one skip two half double crochet but I'm not going to finish it another half double crochet in the same stitch not going to finish it only one and another half double crochet don't worry if um, don't worry if your uh, chains get bigger but it will uh, adjust itself uh, with working now I have four loops yarn over and pull through all these four loops so because this is not the end of the chart but the end of the unit I'm going to finish my work here In this I'm going to skip one and just do a double crochet so I need the height of the three uh, chains here I'm, I'm started with so without any chaining only this skip one and just insert my hook in the last one now I finish my first row it looks like this I'm going to start a next row with you to start another row I'm going to chain three why chain three so with each line I'm going to chain three because this is the height I started with at the very beginning. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn my work. Now I'm going to work this cluster, but I need to know where I'm going to work my cluster. It's in the chain one space between these two clusters. Like this cluster goes in this chain. So now you do have uh, the choice of working this cluster inside the chain like this 
inserting the hook inside the chain like the V chain here or you are going to insert your hook in this space this is what I like to work with just do my cluster like this and finish it like this between these two spaces here chain one do another three double crochet in the same stitch in the same chain one space that I made so I'm going to chain one find the next chain one space insert my hook and do three double crochet one two So, so far you just get the idea that you are going to work these stitches inside or between these two. And I'm going to work four, three double crochet in the space one chain I made it previously. Chain one and just do. three double crochet chain one three double crochet in the space one chain I've made now I have made one cluster three repetition and reached this peak so I'm going to chain one do the fourth one And now I have reached these four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four with the cluster like this. And I'm going to chain two and do another repetition or another granny. This, by the way, is called uh, the grannies stitches because uh, it works granny squares and afterwards I'm going to show you how in a next video so I'm not I'm gonna do another uh, three double crochet in the next chain of the two chains that I need like this so basically I'm going to insert uh, my hook in the same as So, as you see, I've made two units in the same space, like this. Of course, if you prefer to insert uh, your hook and do this three repetition inside the uh, chain, of course, as you like it, but it goes like this. Now, repeat. Chain one. Now I've made my four repetition one two three four and I'm going to need to chain one and do a cluster in the last space chain one here so I'm going to chain one and this is where I'm going to do my cluster just half double crochet without finishing it another half double crochet without finishing it and the third one and finish all three together and here I'm not going to chain one I'm going to do a double crochet in the third chain that I made 
remember the three chains that I made one two three so I'm going to insert my hook in the third one so yarn over and just insert your hook in the third one one two three this is very helpful by the way you need to use any kind of marker that you can mark your stitches with especially for beginners so I have finished my row here and it's just you can see the edge is like this and here the edge like this so I'm going to do another row and I'm going to finish this for you but let me explain it one last time what I need to do is chaining three do a cluster in the space one chain chain one do three double crochet in the chain one space chain one and so on and repeat which whenever you need to end your row you either end your row with a double crochet or three chains so I'm going to chain uh, I need to start another row so I'm going to chain three and just turn and do cluster in the chain one here like this see and I'm going to see you after I work my stitches so this is how it should look like and this is the uh, this pattern is very beautiful for blankets for baby blankets with different colors you can use each um, group of lines with a color and the shades of the colors it's gonna be beautiful so one last time I'm going to explain it what I did I started with chaining the multiple chains that the short says and then chain three did this cluster which means double crochet in the same stitch join it together then chain one this shape here is me um, means chain one three double crochet skip to three double crochet in this chain and chain one skip to three double crochet in the same stitch and so on and so forth and with each row I just chain I end my row with double crochet and chain three to start another row and this you can see the edge here is neat and the other side this is how you read chart in the next videos uh, hopefully I'm going to explain the stitches with short and I'm going to leave this and the paper for the stitches uh, in the description section so you can uh, download it and print it and uh, just practicing with your friends and do beautiful things with it so thank you for watching and please uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to support the channel